Hello, hello guys. Once again, welcome to Farming in Africa. And as usual, my name is Fred. So the topic of the day is how do you get all your goats to give birth at the same time? And in other words, how do you even know when your goats are on heat? And how do you make sure that when you introduce a male to your goats, it's going to cross all of them within the same month so that they all start giving birth at the same time? Recently, I did a video, a very short video on TikTok and Facebook and told people about how I am using one male to cross about 30 females at the same time so that they all give birth at the same time for me. And a lot of you out there had a lot of questions about it and some even came out to say that it is not possible, this cannot be done. Today, I wanna to go to the farm and show you guys that Riley. The good thing about what we do is we are not going around interviewing people. We are showing you what we do at our farm. I, let me tell you a secret. I do not have an agri degree or a Greek bag now in terms of education. Everything I know have been over the past five to six years experience in my farm by my own investment dedicated to this. So yes, I know when I say something, it might always not be the only solution to the problem but it is my solution that is working for me that I communicate to you. Does that mean that in the next three years, I will still be using the same solution? No, in the next three years, I might have developed even a better solution and I will come back and tell you guys, right? So the good thing is whatever I show to you guys is what is working here or we are currently using and are going to improve on it. So today I want to walk you guys through it, right? And show you how we did it. But before I even show you how, I'm going to show you what is happening now. Come along with me. So as you guys probably know, this is our gestation pen. And if you're new to this channel, then sorry, I did not welcome you. Welcome to the Farming in Africa channel. Here we talk about livestock farming. We are dedicated to goat farming and we teach people our experience in goats and show them the right way that is working for us so that they can also improve their farm or better not make the mistakes we have done it so this is our gestation pen come over come let's focus on the gestation pen so if you look at the gestation pen we have a mama here that has given birth to about two we have another mama here um, that has given birth to two one is here one is out there we have another mama here that has given birth um, to two as well over there and then let's go come on i want to show you guys what is happening here take very good notes of the babies so that before we, we, we tell you how did we get here. Come on, let's go. And then this is another set of mamas. Let's look at them, right? They've all given birth. You can see their, their babies, right? What am I trying to show you? What I'm trying, if you look at, and what are you seeing here? If you look at these gold babies that I'm showing you, they all are giving birth in the same time frame. So within the past two weeks, all these goats have been giving birth. There is more in the treatment center that I can show you guys. But I think yes, these two gestation pens gives you an idea of how come these goats are able to give birth within the past two weeks. And that's the point that I was trying to make. Come over. What about these mamas? These mamas are all pregnant mamas. These guys are also going to give birth within the same time frame, right? And then let's come here. So if you come to this pen, this pen is empty. So these are where the pregnant mamas that are feeding right now. This is where they stay. You can see their stomach. They are almost about delivering. Then let's go to the next pen because this is where the magic happens. So these are the males. What do we do? Now let's go into what I was talking about. How do you get your goats all pregnant at the same time, all on heat at the same time, and now get the male to cross all of them at the same time? That system is nothing new or scientific. It is basically called natural synchronization. So the same way I'm walking you through the path. If you look, hi buddy, if you look at our pen, here we have kids. This means that these kids, when they get to three months, we will move them from that pen and bring them to this pen. When we move them from that pen and bring them to this pen, what that means is that their moms are gonna be ready for crossing. We will then feed the moms very well for the first month that we've taken their kids. So all the mamas that you saw with kids, 
in three months time, I'm gonna take their babies away from them and bring them into this pen and feed their babies. They are old enough to feed them by themselves. Then the first one month, what I'm gonna do is feed these mamas very well so that they are healthy and they are stronger. In that one month that they are alone, they are gonna be coming on heat in different times. Within that one month, they are not gonna be exposed to the males because these guys, you see here, are gonna be separated from them. You see, we have the males pen. It's not time for you to go and feed, go back, right? So it won't be time for them to cross, so they are separated. The mamas are fed very well in the one month. Then what we do is the second month, we pick out of these guys who is very strong, who is healthy, who have been feeding well, whose genetic we would like to spread. Then we'll pick him from this pen and go and introduce that guy into the mamas pen. The moment this guy gets there, we put this guy in for two months, but mostly we'll do the work within one month. Once we put this guy there, what happens is that the mamas are naturally going to synchronize because they missed their period last uh, month. They are going to see that, ah, there is a male in our pen now who is active and therefore let's start, the humans will start reacting. So that's what the natural synchronization means. And they will all come on heat again. And then this man will do justice to all of them. As I said, it will do it mostly within one month, but normally we will keep him for two months just in case he misses one or maybe a sperm wasn't quality enough so mixes then the second month will cross what that happens is that within that month because he crossed all of them in about 154 days time all these goats are going to start popping the cherries all the babies are going to start falling like crazy and that is the reason why you guys can see that we are having a lot of babies at the moment at the farm Right, so that is all. That is the science or the idea behind it. Let's go in there and show the babies and their mamas. And that is, that is how you do it. So if you're a farmer and you're looking at having this kind of season, then that's what you need to do, right? But most importantly, why do you need to do this? You do this because you want to be better prepared for the kids. You also want to plan when your kids are birthed because sometimes it's too rainy or wet and when your mamas are giving birth you tend to expose your children to a lot of bacteria. so mostly i like them to give birth during the dry season where um you know it's not too wet on the ground right as a farmer you also know that okay within this month it's going to be my lambing season and therefore i can plan and put structures in place i'll make sure i have my um you know artificial colostrum there i'll make sure i have my artificial milk there so that in case there's something happens i'm ready i make sure that i have all my medications vaccinations planned so that the moment the kids are born i'm you know you put things together and that is why i do that there is also another way of doing this by doing it artificially which is by injecting the moms and then they will come on heat as well and your milk can do it but we do here the natural way and it's been working perfectly for us so those of you that wanted more information about that video there you go this is how you get all your goats on heat at the same time and the moment a goat is on heat you will know by the way it wings its tail you'll see that here our males are there so they will normally put their butt here trying to show the males and, and winging their tails is going to show you a lot of signs they will be making a lot of noises the guys there are going to be very aggressive coming to this side so it tells you that okay this goat is on heat but that's because we introduce the meal once we do it all of them naturally synchronize and then the process starts happening i hope this video is helpful let me know in the comment section what you guys think and i'll bring more video like this your way agriculture is the way guys stay focused save your money and invest into the right agribusiness and i promise you you will not regret it